Oh, shit, I didn't even notice your shirt. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. I am your host, the most lose with the hose Yo. to the toes. Behind the magic of it all, we got Eli, aka JRX. Yo, what's up, everybody? And today, uh, this is season two, episode six. Twenty six. You're right, episode twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the six, twenty six, two two. Yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, two thousand six. Um, we got a stacked show, so fuck it, let's go. We're gonna start off with gaming. Pew 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 pew. pew, pew. Game, Game over. over. Um, that hurts my throat every time. I don't know. I like why. Uh, <laughs> uh, in gaming, so we got a new game announcement. Brand new. Brand new. Never seen before. Outriders by Square Enix, the Japanese people, uh, came out with a third person co-op shooter called Outriders, and it is one of the games that's also going to be available on the new gen systems. That's right. PS5, Xbox Series X. X. Yes, I said that right. And the uh, Switch Pro? And the Switch Pro, <laughs> yeah. So, not 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 even on regular. Anyways. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, they showed some gameplay, showed the trailer. Uh, a lot of outlets out there, not us, got to uh, play the, the <laughs> game. Uh, and I'm, I'm hearing a lot of good feedback from it. What do you think from what you saw? Um, so so far this game is supposed to be is kind of like being compared to Destiny, uh, to Gears of War. Um, One thing, real quick. Yes. There's no PvP. There is no PvP. So you will not be this fighting is, other this players. This is not a games as a service. So it, like a la Division Two, uh, Destiny. So the content you get in this game will be all there. Um, they have said they will include extra stuff like later on down the road, but they even said themselves that, uh, right now, uh, the content that is available on the game, like when it's ready to release will be more than enough, especially post like main storyline. There's a bunch of content past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they said there's not to like, not to worry about content being there. There's going to be plenty of stuff. Uh, the co-op is like up to four, up to three, I think, I believe three people. Um, the characters have different classes as uh, everybody can see right now on the YouTube side. Like I'm showing the gameplay uh, courtesy of IGN. Um, it's very, very Gears of War like, but the little, little changes, the little differences is um, the way you set up your classes because there is different classes. There's different types of like character uh, abilities uh, that you build up and work on. Uh, there's uh, kind of like a Mass Effect uh, portion to it. Whenever it becomes uh, uh, diving into the story, there's actually options and like different like story choices to make. Um, but they said it's not too in depth. Like it's not too crazy. Like oh, like Fable, you know. But they just, it, 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 if anything, this is just something they they probably want to put out there right away. New systems coming out new gen let's start a new franchise let's make it good not great but let's let's make something like that's gonna be like boom oh man th i got this when i got my my first ps 500 or whatever that's yeah, gonna cost I mean, my first xbox it's always good to release a game when a new system comes out you, mm -hmm. you don't have a really the new system doesn't really have a lot of games so you're kind of like have no choice but to choose between certain exactly stuff. uh kind of the same thing with me when i got first got the ps3 mm -hmm. i got oblivion had no Ew. idea what it was but damn was i glad to buy that Ew. game um but i don't know nothing about it to me it seems very unique yeah it seems no 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 it doesn't it's a co-op it shooter. doesn't look unique in a, in a in a sense that oh this is going to be mind-blowing but for me, I think I think it looks fun. I think it's something uh, new. That that it does look uh, at least from what I could see and the the people that I've talked spoken about it. I, I do hear a lot that the gunplay feels really good. It yeah. feels really fun. It feels really good. The movement of the game is really fun. It's really good. Yeah. So I feel like the gameplay is gonna be good. Yeah. I feel like the loot might be fun. Yeah. But. Is there anything about it that I'm like, wow, I've never seen anything like that before? No. Is there anything about it that I'm like, man, 
Because it's going to release on current gen consoles as well. Exactly. Yes. So really, all it's going to be doing on the next gen consoles is probably just better frame range, better graphics. There's yep. really nothing in the game that can be done by the prior systems. So when I when I think next gen systems and I want games to play on those systems, I'm thinking of I want stuff that damn this this for sure can't be done anywhere else. Okay. Right. And I, I don't get that from this, right? But that's not. I'm not saying this is gonna be a bad game. No, I, I don't think saying. I don't think we're we're gonna see that with a multi-platform type of game. It would probably be like the like console exclusive games. Yeah, that do that. yeah, you're right. You're so right. like, I'm okay with it. It looks it looks interesting. It, it looks like fun. Uh, some of the the trickster uh class looks fun to play. I'm interested. I, I think I might get this. It it looks interesting. It looks interesting. Uh, also. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare released a season two uh, content drop. Uh, and in the trailer for season two, it kind of teased uh, that there'll be a battle royale yeah. coming sometime into this, this season. So they released, uh, they re-released an old map called Rust. That's back. Uh, trash. Um, <laughs> they released some other maps that nobody cares about. Uh, honestly, they added like I think I believe they added like two guns. They added a, a old character named Ghost. Uh, everybody's like running around with uh with either Ghost or like the character that, that looks like him but has like a cape on him. I don't know. But anyways, I bought the you bought, bought the, the battle, battle pass? pass. I did. Oh lord. <laughs> anyways, um, I don't care. <laughs> Give me the battle royale. That's what I want. No doubt. Give me the battle royale. I don't care about your new maps. I don't care about your new weapons. Give me the battle royale. But the battle royale hasn't been confirmed. Uh, with the new update, which was a thick boy, it was like 68, 70 oh my gigabytes. God. Huge. Yeah. Huge. On, on PC. I don't. I'm not sure on console. Huge. But. but they they have an option in the main menu that says classified. It's right dead in the center. Right in the middle. Um, not yet know what it is, but it was uh, like uh, Lo said, it was kind of teased because they showed like maps in big areas and they showed like um, um, different the, the, battles the going on, different and battles, and the and the character alluded to why are they shooting their own people, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then like towards the end of that trailer, that portion of the trailer, you see people jumping out of a plane. So pff, come on. So it's rumored to be coming out mid mid season uh two of Call of Duty's uh, Modern Warfare right now, so I'm excited. That's bringing me back. I really don't care about this other shit. I mean, it's the same shit every day with this. Yeah, I mean, don't get you're right. Uh, the modes haven't really changed. I still think right now as a first person shooter, it has the best gunplay. No. Uh, out there at the moment. <laughs> That's my opinion. Uh, but uh, I just bought the battle pass because I I I, I kind of like the content they were dropping with the battle pass, yeah. and uh, you know, with having this upcoming week off, I'm gonna just dive in, you know, level up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're right. The big thing is waiting for that battle royale. I want to see what this team can do with that. Uh, I think you know they'll do a better job than Black Ops did. Um. So I'm excited, yeah. Can't wait. Oh yeah, I'm I want excited more for sure. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege has its Invitational going at the moment. If you don't know much about Rainbow Six Siege, look it up. It's a five v five online only game. It's pretty good. Uh, and they uh introduced their new season, and their new season will be coming out called Void Edge. Where they have a couple of uh, new operators uh, that will be released. Oh well, shit! I'm sorry. I'm watching like the video. They got people busting through walls. Yep. They got people jumping up into yep. like the the little holes that you can make. Correct. Yeah. They got like like clones. Or yeah. So that's called? Onyx. Onyx is a. Uh, it's just crazy. Is a guy who has no special weapon. His special weapon is his abilities, which are busting through walls, climbing up. Uh, obviously he's limited on how much he can do that, but you can even knock, uh, enemies down, you know, people with shields. So it's a good, it's a good, Oh use God, I get so tired of those kids camping in the corners with the shield. Exactly. So now you can use Onyx, ram them down, shoot them, kill them. You're good. Yeah. And the attacker is, uh, I forget her name, uh, but she uses a, uh, a, a hologram of herself. Yeah. A hologram. There you that go. she can use and, and you use the, now it can't attack people. Uh, it can't really do anything, I but think it it's takes people out. Gridlock or Nomad? No, no, no. Those are old operators. Uh, okay. Uh, Nova. I may be wrong on that. Something like that. Uh, 
Anyways. Oh, uh, uh, Ayana. Uh, yeah, that that might be right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there it is, Ayana. Yeah, so she's a really interesting operators that will change up the game. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited about oh, the new season. Oh, that's cool that you can like summon the clone thingy, whatever, mm-hmm. and then you can control it. Correct. Yeah, it's like a camera. But uh, what the enemy is seeing is a hologram of yeah, yourself. Hologram. Now, uh, when they shoot it, that's it. The hologram's gone. But, you know, imagine doing it in tandem with another player. The, everybody looks at the hologram and then, boom, this other player comes in and shoots everybody up. Yeah, so that's a lot of a lot of uh, uh, it opens up the game a lot with both it operators. Really does. A lot of stuff wow. you can do. Yeah, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, they're reworking uh, one of the old maps. So they've been doing this throughout the seasons. They fix some old maps uh, that maybe aren't as viable as they used to be. And that's what they're doing with uh, the map Oregon. Uh, they're fixing it up and making it more competitive. So we'll see. Mm. Uh, but they haven't released a, a date yet. Uh, I, I, they do the test server first. And then they from the test server, they determine how long before they release it. So mm. it's exciting. And the tournament is going on right now, the Invitational uh uh, actually, uh, as of this recording, the final was yesterday. So uh, go back and watch it on YouTube. It's really good, a uh, competitive game as well to watch. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going t- into, speaking of competitive, uh, is sports. <sighs> Touchdown. It's a home run. Go! Sports. Sports. <clears throat> Space sports. Um, uh, Tom Brady... Has apparently well, is well, be is well. shopping around, hitting the open market. Many teams supposedly are interested, including the Patriots, right? Yeah. Um, so a couple of teams that I saw were uh, the a lot of rumors out there that the Raiders, Raiders. are interested in signing Tom Brady to a two year deal. There's well, another team as well. Uh, I forgot. I, I, I forget who that third was. team is. But let, let's just let's just let's just understand what's really going on here. Uh, Brady wants some more money. Uh, Brady's hitting the open market uh, to see what people are offering for him. But at the same time, it's more like, come on, Pats, match the offer kind of thing. You know he doesn't want to leave, bro. He's been there yeah, for years. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. He shouldn't leave. That's His legacy is big time tied to the Patriots. Now, I'm not saying his legacy is gone if he leaves the Patriots, but... You know how it is, man. People always love those guys that stick with that one team. Yeah. You know, if a guy can ride it out his whole career with one team, it's a little another notch on the belt, right? Yeah. Instead of these guys that end up leaving for a year or two, whatever, and then end up retiring. Tom Brady feels he has years left in him, and he wants to do them with the Patriots. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at... One example is Eli. Eli spent his whole career with the Giants. Now, he didn't have a star-studded career. He, I mean, won two Super Bowls. I think he's a uh, Hall of Famer, but a, a lot of people had knocked him on his on his stats, right? On his, on his a stats lot of interceptions. Yeah, true. But he spent them all in the uniform of the, in, of the Giants. And yeah. I think that, that organization, those fans right there, respect him a lot for that. Um even, I mean, even though they've trashed him a shitload of times throughout his career, yeah. I mean, two Super Bowls, but uh, what do you, what else do you want? But anyways, uh, yeah, man, I feel like the Pat, Patriots fans will still want him there. I think Tom still wants to stay there. He wants to finish his out, out career. It's a smart move, I think, to, to shop yourself around. I think it would be crazy. I, I think it would be great TV, in my, in my opinion, for Tom Brady to go into the Las Vegas Raiders. I keep because I, I keep thinking of them as Oakland. Oakland. These guys are yeah. the Las Vegas Raiders. They're Las Vegas. Las Vegas Raiders. New stadium. You got yourself a MVP quarterback in there. A solid squad mm-hmm. that has that has weapons. That has a solid defense. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, either way this goes, I I think if he goes back to the Pats. I think he, yeah, he continues to go. I doubt he wins the Super Bowl. I think if he goes to Las Vegas, Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right uh, and next in uh, sports, the Astros had a press the conference. cheating Astros. Had a press conference recently uh, where the owner 
came out and uh, just uh, issued an, uh, oh, a not statement. Just, not just the owner. No, no, true. Uh, the owner came out, uh, uh, the, head, the, the coach, uh, the manager, and uh, Alex Bregman and uh, uh, Jose, Altuve. Jose Altuve came out and gave a little quick, uh, you know, just uh, they had to say what they say. They meant a few words. Gave their apologies and uh, that, that was it. They gave that. their apologies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, they let's said, uh, they let's said break it sorry. down for the non raw 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 fanboys here. Um, so the Astros had a, a a little meet and greet. I don't even know why they did it like this. They could have just put out a statement. They didn't have to do this shit. They have. I mean, this is stupid. Uh, people this keep is... talking about it. What do you want to do? They keep getting on them. So they the owner. I don't think they should have done it, but the I don't owner, think they should have done it this way. The owner no. did it, so what do you want? But anyways, apparently um, the Astros are like, you know what? We still won. Uh, cheating, no cheating. Oh, we're sorry we cheated, but you know it doesn't matter. We still won. We were the better team. True. Like, what? Like, boy, you don't come out and apologize like that. You got to be like, we fucked up. You know, uh, GGs, we fired who we needed to fire. Uh, you know, and then uh, we got to move on and play better. That's it. Keep it simple. No. This That's what they did. No. This fool Jim Crane says, quote, our opinion is that did you watch this, the press conference? this didn't impact the game. Did you watch the press End conference? quote. No? Okay. So in the press conference. <laughs> Come on, man. No. In the press conference, he said, look, the, the report, the commissioner of baseball came out with a report. So mm-hmm. I'm going to refer with what the report said. And this is what the report said. So it's not really him saying, oh, it had no impact. He's saying the no, report said it had no impact. That's a direct quote from Jim Crane. Correct. But he was <laughs> regurgitating what the report said. So don't come at Jim Crane. Come at the MLB commissioner. What? But what is, yes, what but these reports with- make it frame like he's not taking it. Like, no, that's not what happened at the press conference. He was regurgitating. The words that are coming out of his mouth is My what God. people are coming back My at God. him so for. You've n- things have never been taken out of context ever in the history. What of- taken out of context? <laughs> he just said it didn't affect the game. Look, when, man. He che- when they cheated. Look, <laughs> what? Man. What are you talking He's about? He's just saying what the report said. The that MLB they, that report. That they cheated, right? That, okay. That there was okay. stuff. But <laughs> what the report said is that it didn't really... They can't really determine... Oh. If it had an impact or not. Oh, no. That's what the report said. Oh, no. Come so, on. I don't know. I'm just going by the report by the freaking commissioner. I don't so. know. Honestly, I, I don't care. The point is, is that these people are not are not taking real, like, like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not really taking uh, real responsibility for what they did. Okay, man. That's, they had that's a whole conference issue. based on taking, not, taking responsibility. They're, but apparently, they're not taking responsibility. But they're not. Take, they're not. I mean, right now, you, you just said it yourself. They're deflecting their, their what they did, putting it back on the report that the commissioner they, put Alex out. Alex Fragman right? Says, right? literally so said, none of them I'm are sorry saying, hey, for what our team I did. I fucked up. No, none of them are saying that. Hey, <laughs> you're saying, what you're saying right now is that, the yeah, the report says we fucked up. Yeah, that report, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that over there. We're sorry. That, this literally came out of Alex Fragman's That's all they out. need. No, I'm talking about Jim Crane, the head of the whole... It, the whole org. Jim Crane's the one who forced him to go out there. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> they wouldn't have even been out there if not for Jim Crane. No, he's a so, idiot. I don't know. All right, man. Well, what do you th- the, right, the, man. the drama continues. Uh, I, I I don't think they I'm should even apologize. I'm done with the fucking Astros, bro. Like, hey, I'm done with them. That's fine. They're, we don't I'm need done, you. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with we the fan base. We didn't need y'all before. Who, we don't need y'all now. Who goes, like, deflect, 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 instead of being like, yeah, they fucked up. You know, shit happens. He happen. literally Let's fired his head coach they who had up. nothing to do with it. No, what about this team? And he what fired his that team? It's true. Like, okay, but the this Astros ass are got the caught. The for the league. Your ass got caught. You need to take responsibility. And they did. He okay. fired his GM. That's good. The best GM this team's That's ever good. had and the best head coach he's ever had. Perfect. And he fired them. That's and good. What else do you want? For them, if they're going <laughs> to, they go out My to do God. an apology uh, 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 thing right here. But then don't really apologize. It's weak. Okay, sure, man. It's weak. Sure. If All right. If you're going to do it, then do it right. Agree or disagree? Trash. Uh, team. NBA Trash All Star voting has uh, taken place. And we got a, some couple of snubs that have been, have been left out of, All-Star, of the All Star teams. 
Now the format's different now. You have Team LeBron who voted, and you have Team Giannis who voted on the Easter end. And uh, yeah, they, they they voted for their squads. Uh, a couple of players were left out uh, of notable uh, Paul. What's it, Paul George? I don't know. I don't watch basketball. Not in the All Star squads. Um, freaking Ja Morant, Morant, whatever. Rookie of the year, no doubt about it. But left out of uh, out of the All Star team. Uh, some people are saying, hey, I mean, no rookie's done it for a long time, but still the guy has proven that he's all-star caliber. But it looks like uh, the whole league, all the players in, 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 you know, in conjunction agree that rookies, you got to be an extraordinary rookie to even make it in. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, Team LeBron, the starters are LeBron, of course, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, Luka Doncic, and James Harden. Uh, wait, they don't do East and West no more? Uh, no, it's kind of like a draft thing. So the, the, the captains draft the players. Correct. So that's why the other ones didn't make it. Well, I mean, there were like draft eligible players Oh. and they kind of just chose from those. Now, yes, there were some players left out. I don't know, like John Morant, but like I said, you got, you know, they, they, most of the time rookies don't make it into the all-star. Look at Luka Doncic last year. Didn't make it into the All Star. Uh, Trey Young didn't make it into the All Star. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's maybe it's like some unwritten code that right now the players have. If you're a rookie, you're not gonna make it no matter what you do. But I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Uh, and then Team Giannis is Giannis, Joel, Joel Embiid, Siakam from uh, Toronto, Kemba Walker, and Trey Young. So, uh, uh, yeah, some pretty solid uh, players. It's going to be interesting. Are you interested in the uh, NBA All-Star game? Absolutely not. All right, there we go. So, uh, those are the teams. Let us know if uh, your player got snubbed. Uh, what do you think of the teams? Harden? <laughs> Ew. Uh, all right. Trade them. Last thing in our uh, segment is pop culture. So, uh, man, there, there's some pretty cool stuff going on right now in pop culture. Uh, first thing we're going to dive in is I'm sure you have you all have seen this uh, video of this mother in VR, you know, talking to her or trying to. I don't know what it was because they were talking another language, talking <laughs> to her dead daughter, recreated dead daughter in VR. Yes. Now, this is what country? Uh, South Korea. South Korea. These South Koreans. So, they did the parasite shit. <laughs> this is South Koreans, motherfuckers. All right. So, a grieving mother meets her deceased daughter in VR in this tragic, unsettling documentary. Uh, TLDR, uh, they, they recreated her daughter. Uh, they gave her the headset and put her back in the VR area. They even, like, uh, recreated her voice to sound like the daughter. But anyways, her daughter died in 2016 of uh, an incurable dis- disease that she had. Uh, of course, like, like, I, I mean, to to get to the like to the point of the thing, like the reason we put this on here, it is this something that we should be doing? Like, is this some? Is this? It, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, you know, knock on wood, I've never had the experience of like losing a child, losing somebody like super close to me like that. So the whole grieving process is like. You know, unimaginably, uh, unimaginable for me, but the fact that they they recreated her and then they put her, uh, she put on the headset and you know she's basically in a park like they recreated the whole situation. Like I mean, it's all like made from the ground up and they created this whole area where she's in a park with her daughter. And I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that because I'm like, I don't know, I feel like that's counterintuitive of like the moving on process. You know, get. You know, maybe never will move on from this situation, but that's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. What about you? <laughs> it's crazy. Dude. It's like an episode of Black Mirror, bro. It, it could be. It, it, it's how it I, 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 yeah. It, it, you, you know, know it's supposed to be VR bringing back dead people. There was that one uh, episode of Black Mirror I remember watching that was uh, these the video games. You kind of like stuck a, a chip on the side of your head and you were in the video <laughs> yeah. game. And then these two players ended up like, 
two guy two guy friends and ended up just Banging. fucking with each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's kind of, man. Black Mirror's kind of calling it, bro. They they're kind of like they're the next Simpsons, right? Dude. Simpsons was calling <laughs> out shit in the future. They called out Donald Trump. They called out all this crazy shit going on. I think we're seeing the same thing. That uh, Black Mirror is doing, and now look, uh, look at this VR shit. I think this isn't the end of it. If you think this is yeah. disturbing, I feel like get prepare yourself because I think shit's about to get even more disturbing. Well, the thing is, is that it's not that it's disturbing, but it's more like it's gonna lead to. I feel like this is for this type of person who's been th- through this situation. This is more like leading towards like an addiction kind of like i wasn't thinking of black mirror when when you <laughs> when i saw this i was thinking about uh inception because i had just watched it but they showed like a, a scene where there's people that still that are forever in a dream mm. because they prefer to be there versus being in the real world mm. well what if this is like leading towards that where this person who lost their child would prefer to be in vr the whole time you know neglecting their health their uh whatever uh immediate family they still have and you know and whatnot and the work whatever uh, just to be here because this is the only place where they can like experience being with that all person. Right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, I mean, it, it, this shit has levels. Three way podcast it's, it's therapy, deep. bro. No, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, it, it, I just it got me thinking about this type of stuff. Like, you can't just think about it like how it's going on now. You got to think about how it's going on now and next year and yeah, the year yeah, after yeah. that. You know, it, it progresses. These things, people don't just leave things as is. You know. Come yeah, on, yeah. Don't know that. No, like I said, man, get ready. <laughs> yeah, you know, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, oh my god. Uh, we got a new teaser for Stranger Things season four. Yeah, we did. Came out. The trailer's called From Love from Russia or what's it called? Sure. Uh and it shows that no homeboy, what's his name? Uh uh Hellboy? <laughs> yeah, Hellboy <laughs> is not dead. But that was so obvious. He is alive. That was so obvious. I know, I know, I know. No one thought he was going to be gone, but I didn't think they were going to reveal it on a teaser trailer. Like, at least save it for the first episode, second episode. But no, they kind of just revealed it on the teaser trailer. Boom, here. Yeah, he's alive. Catch season four. He'll be here. Uh, Harper or something like that? Harper, yeah. Officer or whatever, Harper. Um, I liked it, though. I like how they... You don't really see that in teaser trailers, right? You you see very min- little, but this they just showed a big story, a story beat, and it looks like the you know the title title of it being from Russia. What the hell? What the hell is this fool doing in Russia? Get like, lit. What the hell happened? He's working in a railroad. What? On the live long day. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, are you excited for Stranger Things for? Um, uh, not uber excited, but uh, yeah, I'm ready for some more Stranger Things to happen. It is kind of getting like more and more like beyond. Don't get me wrong, Stranger Things one is like beyond like uh, reality, but it's getting more and more like it just keeps getting. It's getting more wilder, and I don't know. Well, I don't know about that. I kind of liked it being grounded. In the first season, mm-hmm. right? That feeling that it's just a small town, little group of uh, friends. Now it's like Russia and, uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, different. Like, come on. It's yeah, getting a little you. bit too out there. Okay. Even though it's about, you know, the upside down world and monsters coming in through wormholes. But whatever. Yeah, shit crazy. Uh, our last bit of news. We got our f- first look. Very first look. At Robert... Pattinson as Batman. We got to look at the bat suit. Woo! The director came out with a little uh, little video. A little tease. A little tease Apple on tease. Twitter. And I got to say, man, it looks badass. Oh, I like it too. I like it. I like it a lot. I kind of like the... It was a test screening of it, and he mm-hmm. just released a video of it. So they were trying to... I, I think they're trying to develop a mood for the film right now. That's what they're and currently trying to develop the mood of the film. Right. And from what I saw from this teaser, it's kind of grimy, yep. dark. I, I like it, man. Oh, I like it a lot. I like it rough. Oh. Right? Yeah. Nice chiseled jaw. Yummy. Yummy. That he just gives you. I, I liked it, man. <laughs> now, we didn't see... 
the freaking uh the ears right they kind of cuts off there so i don't i still haven't we still need i still want to see the whole suit before i'm all in but uh, apparently the freaking emblem on his chest is made of s- the the weapon of that killed his parents yeah, it's the uh, it's the gun that was used to murder his parents. What the? They've been fuck? cut in half, and they, he he uses them as his uh, the bat symbol. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh my Saving God. DC single handedly. Oh my gosh! I want more of it. I want to see a trailer for this movie, man. I'm done with the teases. Don't tease me. Bunch of teas. Show me the trailer. You 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 hyped for this? Oh yeah, I liked it. I Robert thought it was pretty Patterson, cool. Robert Patterson, man. I knew it. Magic. I didn't have a doubt in Robert, but you know I need to see the whole thing too. Vampires and bats, oh, all in one. All in one. Twilight and Batman crossover. Sign me up. Got all the three books at home. Is there four? There's oh three, my right? God. All three at home, baby. Hey, man, I found them. I was like, oh, you found them. Yeah, Barnes some guy Nobles. gave his books away in a whole box and we For opened some it. Money. It's the whole Twilight series on there. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? And some Russian books. Oh. Literally Russian language books oh. that we now use as decoration. Wow. Yeah. You should get them checked out. Maybe it may be worth something. Maybe this guy's a fucking communist. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. Fucking Twilight in Russia. And he had a book about Putin as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, I don't know, man. Shit's really- Gotta be crazy. It's fucking, maybe the Stranger Things 4 shit really ain't so far off, right? Maybe yeah. they're right here in our own homeland. Mm-hmm. Own backyards. Own backyards. Uh, all right, guys. <laughs> uh, we're gonna end the show with a couple of last segments. Uh, really, really quickly, what have you been playing, jerks? <laughs> playing apex and i broke my, oh my mouth <laughs> but i got a brand new one. Oh, wow i'm good to go chief anger uh, issues man you were cool. you were one of the pe- people that i imagine would be have the less problems with anger issues but it's turned out the complete opposite hey sometimes you know shit happens yeah all right um uh, i've been playing some rainbow six siege i've been playing a little bit of star wars uh jedi fallen order no, i need to finish that and there's a new game coming out that I'm really interested in, uh, is Dreams. Coming out for the PS4. It is a, you can create your own games in mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. in Dreams. Mm-hmm. And, and actually, I just saw a clip where someone recreated Joker walking down the steps in Dreams. Mm-hmm. And you can play as the Joker yep. in, in Dreams. It's uh, um, the same people that made uh, Little Big Planet. Correct. So, uh, pretty interesting. I, I might check this game out. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll see. I know you're not making anything, but you probably play. I could try to make something, man. No, I feel like shit. I could try Come to make on, something. I, I, I could do the voice so compli- acting. I could do that. The, shit is so complicated. The singing. I could do the music in the background. If, if I was to ever play that, it was just to be just to play the the shit they already made. I don't know, man. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Um, and now our final punches. This is the segment of the show where we say our last words. Something that's on our mind. Something that's pissing us off. Jerks, do you have any final punches? Uh, not gonna, not that I can think of right now. You uh, have something to say about the Astros? Anything else? No, I mean they suck. Cheaters. Oh, okay. Um, my final punch is you know what really pisses me off, man. What's up? When those people that buy new TVs, you know how they leave that damn indicator, that wrap around the TV that says that this is how much your TV, the Energy Star, the Energy it. Star sticker. Yeah. Why the fuck do people leave this shit on the on the TV? I don't know. Take that shit off. They probably assume it's a part of it. Bro, no, no. People know, bro. I've literally set up the TV at my parents' house, and as I'm peeling the shit off, they're like, are you sure? You, know, you could just leave that on there. No, you motherfucker. This shit doesn't belong here. It's meant to be taken off. Why buy a TV, set it all up, clean it up, dust it up, connect it, 4K, and you leave this damn sticker wrapped around your damn TV. No one cares how much energy it saves. No one gives a a shit. So my job, what I'm doing, is literally anytime I go to someone's house and I see their TV with the sticker on, while they are not looking, I'm I'm taking this shit off. Taking it off, throw it in the trash where it belongs. Take this damn 
sticker off. It doesn't belong there. It's not aesthetically pleasing. For some reason, people grew up with it on and they leave it on now. That's been my final punch, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been the Hump Day Show. You can find us at YouTube, uh, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave a review, help out the show, leave the lights on. Give me another week, guys, for the love of God, please. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. All right. Bye, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.